Most high performers want to get to their goals super fast. They're usually impatient and they're usually frustrated through the process of getting to their goal. So I want to show you a model that I use. It's one of our NeuroFlow tools and it helps you to navigate the pathway between where you are and where you want to be with less frustration and with more traction. So I've put this table up here and I want you to ask yourself a couple of questions. So on this table we have on the bottom here, zero to 10 skills. So you probably have skills and talents in a particular area. Maybe you're a people leader, maybe you're a CEO, maybe you're a business owner, maybe you have a technical skill or a sales manager, marketing manager, and you have this amazing skill set and you've invested time and energy into developing these talents and this skill set. And there may be skills that you don't yet have that you need in order to get to your goal. So I want you to think about one, on the skill set that you do have, where would you rate yourself between zero and 10? And on the skills that you need, it might be great for you to just create a small list of skills that you don't yet have or you don't have as high skill in. For example, if you need to get better at say speaking, where's your skill set? Is it a four or five? Maybe you've had a bit of experience but you're not at a 10 yet. And so what is it that you still need to know and learn that you haven't learned yet? Maybe you are looking at developing more sales in your business. So what is it that you need to learn about selling? Or are you at a zero or a two in selling and you need to be at a 10? And is that the one thing that's stopping you from taking your business into a seven or eight figure business or even starting a business, maybe you'll come out of a corporate role and you're going into consulting and you know your stuff, but you've never really had to sell your own self service as a service. So, so what is it that you need to know that you don't know yet? Maybe it's about branding and you need some help with your personal brand, either within your organization or into your business. Or maybe it's just that you're not quite sure how to tailor what you've got and then go and position it and articulate your value in the market. So what's the skill that's missing for you? And then the other piece is mindset. And this is the piece that I love working in. It's why I've done what I do for the last 25 years. From the age of even at 12 years old, I started to read books about neuroscience and human behavior because I was so fascinated to overcome the challenges that I was experiencing even as a child in a family that didn't we didn't have a lot of money. I found out I was blind in one eye at the age of three. And so I had this desire to overcome. And during that journey, what I've learned is a, a number of things about how we process information in our brains, but also how do we move ourselves forward emotionally? So with a mindset piece, we're not taught this at school. We're not taught how to shift our thoughts from stress uh, and go into a state of energy or uh, excitement about something. We're not taught how to rewire our brains. We're not taught how to manage a very, very busy day without feeling overwhelmed. We're not taught how to think about the future with confidence and certainty when we're not certain about our future. So the mindset piece, if you could rate yourself zero to 10, on how confident are you about achieving the goal that you want to achieve? How certain are you that you're going to get there? And how good are you at managing your emotions every single day? And what happens for a lot of high performers is they go through this, this thing that I call performance disorientation. So what is that? So they're moving towards their goal. They've got the goal in their mind. They're very driven. They want to get there and they want to get there fast. And along the way, things don't always work out the way that we expect. So what happened for, for me is we went through this season where everything was going really well. We're up there on a high. And then all of a sudden, we had a disruption to our income. And uh, my husband actually worked for a company that closed down. We had 18% interest rates. And bang, all of a sudden, we're in this position where we didn't know how we were even going to pay our mortgage and feed our our growing very baby young family so that threw me I was in here I was in this state of I don't know what to do next how am I going to move forward 
and how we're going to overcome this financial situation. When you have something happen to you that you're not expecting, that is traumatic, or maybe you get disappointed because something didn't come off that you were expecting to do or achieve, or somebody else did something that threw you off your perch, you can end up down here in this state of anxiety or stress or high frustration or high disappointment, discouragement, and sometimes even that can lead to depression. So when you're in this place and people around you are in this place as well, how do you move up to that next season? And I, what I've discovered over the years is when you're in this place of what I call disorientation, it's usually preparing you for the next season and the next peak, if you like. And when you're in this place, that's when you can learn how to find the most peace within yourself, the most creativity within yourself, if you learn the tools around your mindset to shift into that place and access that spirit within you that is really courageous and really creative. And it is a process to learn how to do that. So when you're in this space, I just want to encourage you, if you've had something happen to you that you weren't expecting, maybe your business hasn't turned out quite like you thought it would, maybe you're in a job you don't like, or maybe you've missed out on achieving a contract or a job that you thought you were going to get, or maybe some health issues, anything that's come that you hadn't expected can put you in this place of disorientation. When you're disorientated, you don't have any clarity. When you have no clarity, you have no confidence. So resetting yourself in this place is absolutely key. And I see organisations go through this culturally or even in their business. A lot of us are having to reset, redefine what our businesses look like, what our teams look like, because the market is rapidly changing because of technology. And so what happens is people feel extremely uncertain about their future and they can spiral down. So if you're a high performer and you've hit a wall, this is for you because you totally can move from this place to the next place. But when you learn how to do this, you continue to move in an upwards direction towards your goal. What really keeps people stuck is the mindset piece. If they haven't learned how to retrain their minds on a daily basis, Many of us, and I know I've done this in the past, has gone to a motivational conference or, and I love all that, it's great, but really what the rubber hits the road every day when you're in your office working or you're at home and you're feeling the way that you feel when you wake up in the morning, how do you shift yourself out of that state? So there's a number of different tools that we use to help you shift out of that state, but if you're feeling disorientated at the moment, be encouraged that you're actually getting prepared for the next high, the next season, because in that place, you're learning how to have more courage. You can learn how to be more creative and come up with the best ideas. Some of the best ideas in the world have been born out of hardship. So maybe it's a time for you to just to reset, slow your brain down and, and stop overthinking everything. Realise if you're actually projecting the future from a place of fear or whether you're recognising and realising what is possible for you. And there's a lot of faith and hope that comes into play here of believing and just purely knowing how to retrain yourself so you're thinking more positively about the future. So moving forward, what's the one thing that you can do to reset yourself emotionally? What's something that makes you feel good? And what skill that you do you need to learn that you don't quite have now? And one of the th best things you can do if you're in this place is what's one thing that you could do today that, can, that in can encourage you to move forward? What information do you need? Or what's some way of making yourself feel more energised or feel more positive? Do you need to be around somebody who energises you? Do you need to go and do something, go out in the fresh air and go to the beach and dive in the water? Do something that makes you feel good. Shift your state emotionally because that's a great first step to just getting yourself out of this space where you're worried about the future too much. So I hope that encourages you and let's get you on a track of clarity, of confidence, of achieving more goals and moving you towards your goal and your dream and what you're called to do and meant to do.